What's up guys, welcome back. So, as you guys know, I bought a new tent. I bought a rooftop tent. You can probably see it right here in the frame. But anyways, it's up on the, the roof. That's why it's a rooftop tent. <laughs> anyways, brand new. Never even camped in it. I haven't even gone camping. So for me to buy this thing is, I don't know, kind of funny but not funny and should be exciting but at the same time I don't know if you guys have ever gone camping alone it's like not knowing what to bring um, I mean other than food water what else do you bring so I'm gonna go camping by myself and go up into these hills look at that I'm going up there And funny thing, it's been hot and nice all week. Today's Friday, the September 1st, and it started sprinkling. Like, it's supposed to rain today, and maybe tomorrow. So I don't know if it's a good time to go camping. It is a good time to test out the tent, see if it's waterproof. Uh, what I need to do, what I need to add, what I need to bring, but I don't know, stay tuned. It's gonna be exciting. Um, it's gonna be kind of scary too at nighttime. I'll have to show you guys these, uh, I brought these motion detector lights just in case I'm up in the hills somewhere. No one should be around there. Um, if I camp somewhere like that out in the middle of nowhere, I'm gonna set these uh, motion detection lights just in case a bear or a cougar or just whatever animals are out there or, or people if they pass by um, these lights will go off and then I'll I'll know someone's around or something is around while I'm up in the tent sleeping or whatever no, I'm, I'm a light sleeper so these these lights will probably wake me up so anyway stay tuned and uh, yeah it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be oh I'm kind of nervous about it, but we'll see. I got to do it, right? If you guys have never been camping by yourself, it's a pretty exciting experience, but at the same time, scary experience. Cause you know, I don't know what to expect. I don't even know where and where I can camp and where I cannot camp. So my goal is to get to somewhere where, you know, like I'm going to off-road up to a spot where no one usually goes. So, and then I'll test out my tent, uh, tent. I'll test out my uh, tent, and then I'll show you guys uh, how I have everything set up, uh, what I'm doing, or whatever. So, stay tuned, and you know what? I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, what do you think? Good idea or bad idea to come camping? Look at, it's raining. And then it said the road might be closed ahead. So hopefully it's not... Hopefully it's not closed. That would suck. But... I think there would be some spots out here somewhere. To camp. But man, it's raining pretty good. And then with all the fire... Like the fire stuff, there could be mudslides. Anyways, I'm gonna go over this to this one spot I was. Um, there's this one spot that people used to go and camp. I'm gonna go over here and see. Look at, I'm by this restaurant, country store. Look at this. Anyways, we'll go back here and see. People probably gonna think I'm crazy going back this way. Look at this is no parking anytime. What's this? See? Street legal vehicles only. We'll see. Hopefully, I can make it over here. I don't even know which way to go. <laughs> Look at. There's one to the left and one to the right. We're going to the one to the right because that one looks like a 
a giant turn. Anyways, the gate's open, so we'll see. I raise my vehicle up a little bit. See, you can raise it, and it gets six inches from the fender well. So it gets up pretty high. I mean, high enough for this stuff. I'm not a rock crawler like some of these people say. My, my truck's not an overlander, but I don't care. This beats sitting at home, you know? With it raining, I don't think too many people would go up here. I don't think. Check out this rainbow. Watch, let me get over here. Oh yeah, look at the rainbow. Pretty cool. Look at, there's someone up here. Riding bikes. Betcha they weren't expecting the rain. But yeah, someone's up here. <laughs> oh, you guys watch for a minute. Sorry about the windshield wipers, but you gotta have them. Turn on the lights just in case someone's around here. Hauling butt down the hill or something. See, wouldn't it? Isn't it going to be cool to go uh, camping in the rain? I've always wanted to camp in the rain. I hope this tent don't leak. I mean, it has a hard shell top. So I don't think it... I don't think it will... I don't know. I don't think it'll leak because it has a hard shell top. But you never know. Alright, so which way do I go? Do I go to the right? Yeah, let's go to the right. Do I go to the right or do I go to the left? Let's go to the right. Even though the one on the left is taller or higher up. I just want a cool view. I don't know where this one goes. Anyways, let me drive for a bit, see where I end up, and you know what, I'll show you guys once I get there. I have not, okay, I haven't camped by myself ever. This is gonna be the first time um, camping in my Range Rover. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name's Thomas with Thomas Studio 17, and you know what? This is gonna be different. I'm kind of nervous, but at the same time, I'm excited. This is like a, I don't know, it's just a cool, it's going to be a, a really cool experience because you know what? I've never done this before. <laughs> What's cool about it is uh, I don't even know where I'm going. But look it, it was raining. I'm going to have to get out and show you. Oh, oh, sorry, I gotta get the seatbelt off for a minute. It was raining a few minutes ago. Let me unlock all the doors just in case. There might be bears, tigers and bears. Look at, it was raining and look at the, uh, the rainbow. Very cool, look at that. It is windy though. So what do you think? Is this a cool spot to camp? It kind of it kind of is a cool spot. I think I'm I might camp here. I think I actually like this. The only thing it would 
might be neat to see all the way down there, you know. Maybe I'll go drive around a little bit more. But yeah, just a little bit ago, it was raining hard. I don't know. You think anyone will come up here? <laughs> I'm out in the middle of nowhere just walking around. So I don't know. If you guys are new to my channel, like I said, I'm Thomas with Thomas Studio 17. And this is my 2004 Range Rover. I just recently purchased that uh, hard, what is it called? A hard shell tent. Um, $700. Can't beat that price. 700 bucks. So I was like, I can't pass up that, that year. So I already popped it open, put some lights in there, and I just want to test it out. But yeah, this is my 2004 Range Rover. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you see it all over the place because I post, I post pictures everywhere. So yeah, that's uh, that's my Range Rover. <laughs> but man, look at this! It's like a storm's coming in. I don't want to get too far from, uh, you know what I mean? I don't want to get too far. into the woods just in case you know there is a just in case there's something crazy going on here or something you know but i wonder if this would be a cool spot to camp and it's pretty windy i'm not gonna lie it's windy anyways maybe we'll go take a drive see if there's another better spot but if not, this is kind of a neat spot. I said neat. This uh, this spot is pretty, pretty cool, I think. Anyways, let me uh, go look around. If I see something really cool, I'll show you guys. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Look how high we are in the cool view. I say cool a uh, lot. Anyways. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. It's beautiful. I need to find a camping spot. Somewhere up there though. I was going this way and then uh, I passed one vehicle. He was on the side of the road. He was by himself. But look at this. I think other people are camping up here. But I think I'm the only one with the roof top tent so far that I've seen everyone else looks like they have a uh, maybe their camping gear in the back in the bed of their truck but who knows I'm looking for a secluded spot that's just beautiful that way when I wake up in the morning I just see a an awesome view so let me keep driving look where I'm, I'll show you guys one where I'm at or what what I'm where I'm going to get you know what road I'm going down to get there yeah wouldn't it be cool to camp right here <laughs> look at this this hill don't collapse we're good I'm telling you you could freak your mind out if you think this hill is gonna collapse it almost makes you where you don't want to go drive down it but we'll be fine if not you'll see me on the news my five minute of fame rolling down a hill yes. guys Look at this. Look way down there. And I see some people camping. Kind of cool, they're camping right there. So I gotta make sure I don't go over that way. But they did get a good spot right on the top of that hill. I'm gonna try to go up on 
top of one of those hills right there. Man, it would be it would be awesome to wake up in the morning to an amazing view. But we'll see if we can find a spot. I was thinking of that other spot back there, but it said private property across the way but up a little bit more so I don't want to be close to I don't know someone's house or just something over there you know so we'll go find another spot but this view is just beautiful it's gonna be fun I'm excited but I'm nervous at the same time be right back look at this view I would have a 360 degree view of just beautiful. And this, the, I'm not complaining, but there's some people over there. Uh, how, how far away do I need to be from someone? You know, especially if you're remote camping. Like, am I kind of invading their space kind of? You know, because we're, we're in line of sight, pretty much. Um, but an amazing spot. That's the only thing. I mean, pretty much it's like, who cares? You know what I mean? But to be respectful, am I in an okay spot? And then another thing, it is super windy. Okay, keep in mind, this is my first rooftop tent. I don't know if it's going to hold up in this wind, especially on top of this hill. And then if, what if it does start pouring? I'm like so negative right now. I've never been so negative in my life, but something I'm trying to think about. What if, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's my dilemma. Should I stay up here with a beautiful view? Or should I go somewhere else? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm safe right here. The fog's rolling in. I mean, technically this, is, this isn't a bad spot. The only thing I think can think is, uh, maybe turn the car vehicle around but i'm actually set up pretty good right now i don't think uh the water would wash any of this stuff down and someone's camped be before here i don't know i might just stay right here i feel like i'm to on top of the world you know what i mean <laughs> let me show you how windy it is you might not be able to hear me because it's gonna be so windy And look how it's parked. I'm gonna have to put a rock behind that wheel. But the view is gonna be, it's gonna be so cool. <laughs> I hope it clears up. But look at this fog rolling in. Phew. It might be cold tonight. I don't know. I think it's pretty neat, but who knows? And do I need to be on super level ground? How's that work, you know? That should be good right there. I'm gonna lower it, lower the vehicle. That should be good. Look at this bug. Stink bug. That's a stink bug. Anyways, I think I'm just going to camp right here. I think this is a cool spot. I don't think anyone will bother me. The only thing is the, the lights at nighttime. That's the only thing. I'll put a rock behind the, the wheel. Is that wheel off the ground? It's pretty close. But 
Who knows? Then I gotta see if this rooftop tent blows around to me. But look at you can't see nothing. <laughs> look how look how foggy it got. Phew. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> and nervous. I'm gonna be nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be nervous. Anyways, let me find a rock to put in front of this wheel just so I don't roll. There's a rock. Alright guys, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna pop this open. It's pretty windy. Hopefully this thing don't break. Hopefully it doesn't stay this windy this whole time. Uh, might be messing up, but live and learn. Look at live and learn. Let's pop this thing open. Let's pop it open and see what happens. Take this, this keys out. Put this rain guard. Let me let me put you guys down once I uh once I get this set up. I'll show you guys. I gotta put this little skirt down. All right, guys. This is totally uh look at. It's not even moving. <laughs> Pretty cool. The only thing is that strap is banging around, but. Other than that, not too bad. Now, let me get uh, the ladder out. Throw everything inside. Let me see. Throw all this stuff inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my pillow and all the blankets once I get it set up. Once I get set up, I'll show you guys. Everything. <laughs> I'm excited. Be right back. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, <laughs> this is my little setup. So these are solar lights. Um, I just got them in today, so I don't know how long they're gonna last. I have four of them, but I left the other one in the car. So anyways, I'm inside the tent. Check out the lights. There's different colors. I could change all that. I don't even know what I did with the remote. Oh, the remote's somewhere over here. So anyways, uh, oh, so I changed it. So basically, I'm uh, gonna camp today just to see how it goes, but we'll see. I gotta organize this a little bit better. Got my blankets. It's actually kind of cold outside, but it's nice in here. It actually isn't too bad. It's pretty warm. I didn't bring a jacket. So if it gets too cold and in the middle, middle of the night, I'm gonna have to figure it out and get out of here, or go sleep in the truck or something. But anyways, I'm inside the tent. There's some, the straps that you pull down this tent, they're kind of banging around. So I'm gonna go outside and figure that out in a little bit. Um, the fog was rolling in really bad, but yeah, not too bad. It's actually pretty cozy. It's not too bad. Um, the the tent is kind of going downhill a little bit, but not too bad. If it was nice out, I'd have these windows open. You could see the whole view. I'd I'd have everything open. But it's super windy outside, so not too. Uh, in here it's not too bad i thought it was going to collapse or fold over or whatever but it's actually pretty nice i'm not gonna lie it's pretty cool so i'm just gonna relax this this uh mattress isn't too bad either so far i could see how people say um get an undercoating you know an under 
under mat under was it moisture wicking mat underneath this because it's just flat against the plastic so I bet you if the bottom gets cold there'll be moisture and then you'll be able to fill it through this mattress and it'll soak up whatever and then mold so but either way this what's underneath this I put a sheet over it there's a bed sheet right here but yeah as soon as uh I try out this camping thing tonight once it gets dark out here it's gonna be pretty crazy I think it's gonna be kind of scary I'm not gonna lie but I have all these lights so lights make it better um, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty dark tent I mean it's still light outside let me uh let me show you I could unzip this look at that that's fog <laughs> but isn't this cool right on top of my Range Rover love it yeah it's actually pretty exciting I'm not gonna lie but yeah I think I'll just sit here for a little bit oh let me show you if I'm laying down right this is laying down look how much room I have to the end of the tent there's quite a bit there's more if there's two people laying in here yeah it might be kind of tight unless it's your honey then you can hug on her or whatever but but if it's two guys it might be kind of tight depending on how big they are and there's the ceiling I don't know if some of you want to see that but it's actually not too bad but what I'm wondering, what do you do with the ladder? Do you guys leave the ladder out? Or do you guys bring it in? I'm thinking I might leave it out. But who knows, I might bring it in. I just don't know. Like I said, I'm new to this. And look at, I'm sitting up. Still quite a bit of headroom. I did take out the cargo net that was in here because it was just hitting my head. But... There's a couple things I need to do. Look at, there's a kind of a loose screw right there. Loose screw right there. So maybe I'll tighten some stuff up. Give me something to do. All right guys, I figured it out. Look at, if this thing slaps around, it's windy right now, but if it's slapping around, all you have to do is put it through this little loop right there, tie it in a knot, and no more, no more flapping around. Yeah. Pretty cool. Anyways, it's cold outside and look at it's foggy. I'm up on the ladder. It's foggy. Inside the tent is so comfortable. Like it's not even cold at all. But look at that. I have the lights on inside the tent. You can't even see them. That's what I wanted to get a screwdriver. pretty cool I heard someone dry, drive by not too long ago so anyways I'm gonna tighten some stuff let me get this up let's see here let me move oh yeah I brought the tow rope you never know you just never know okay let me get a hold on a minute I gotta get a screwdriver out of here hopefully I have one give me a minute let me set you guys up somewhere. Uh, I'm going to have to hold you and do this with one hand. Hopefully there's a screwdriver in here. I've got random tools. There it is. It's a cheapo. But it's a screwdriver. Alright, give me a second. Let me put this back. Well, if you guys know what I'm missing, or you think I'm missing, let me know. Because, uh, like I said, this is my first time. Uh oh, let me see here. Give me a second. Close that. I'm going to get back up in this tent. And then we're going to, uh, I guess, chill for the evening. 
Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh man, I cracked myself up. The things I do, the adventures I go on. But this is a good test. Look at, I don't know if you can see the fog. But man, it is foggy. This will be pretty interesting. I'm debating if I should put this ladder on the inside. But then if I have to go to the bathroom at night, that might be a little difficult to set up real quick. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, this is the tent. Look at solar lights. Got my little, I think they're called fairy lights. Kind of funny. So anyways, uh, oh, they're on flicker right now. Let me put on regular. I forget how to do it. Sorry guys, I had to switch to my iPhone because uh, my cell phone died. Or I'm sorry, my GoPro died. It's right there, dead. Batteries don't last very long on those things. So anyways, yeah, I got a, a fan, bought a brand new fan actually pretty cool like uh let's see i'm still trying to learn how to use it i don't know if you could hear it blows pretty good it's oscillating look at it turns uh, i gotta move it away from the move it away from the tent look at oscillating this thing will spin all the way around that thing will spin all the way around. Um, give me a second. Look at it. It turns quite a bit. Anyways, Amazon. Let me stop it from turning. Give me a second. Once I get it straight, I'll turn it off. Right there. And then, let me turn the fan off. And then, it has a light. Look at it. Bright light. Pretty bright. So I'm pretty set up in this thing. This is like luxury camping, but if you are claustrophobic, this might not be the tent for you because it's not super big. It's big, but it's not, you know, it's good for like one or two people. It says three people, but it's only good for one or two people. So I'm just gonna watch movies, watch movies, hang out, have a little cerveza, <laughs> and just relax. But I don't know. Oh, um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, oh, food-wise, what am I gonna eat? If you're wondering what I'm gonna eat, so it's probably just gonna be this. Hot and spicy. It's probably backwards on my camera. Hot and spicy. How am I gonna warm it up? I brought my jet boil. Let me show you guys what I have. Let me switch camera. You're wondering how I'm gonna heat this up. This is how I'm gonna heat it up. Remember, I'm gonna say it a hundred times. Oh yeah, I brought tons of lights. Look at this light. Brought another light. I brought my jet boil. Huh? Yep, pretty cool. My brother bought me that a long time ago. Here's the canister. Brent, I mean, it's still new. Hear the rain? That's all the rain. What else did I bring? Oh yeah, I brought this. So I don't know why I brought this, but windproof camping stove. And you know what's funny? I did bring this. But I don't have no pots or pans to cook on. <laughs> kind of funny. So it looks like that. Pretty neat. But like I said, no pots or pans. But yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. And then uh, look at camping. Camping fork. Spoon. I think it's pretty neat. I wonder if this thing will fit in here. Probably not. Yeah, nope, it won't. I'm thinking, I'm, like I said, I'm learning as I'm going, guys. You know, if, 
if anyone else has ever tried camping by themselves let me know make a maybe comment in the comment section below and let me know how your camping adventure went I'll let you know in the morning how mine goes or ends up but like I said this is my first time I know I'm repeating myself a hundred times but I'm not gonna lie at first I was nervous I was like how am I gonna do this you know like did I bring the right stuff it'll set you guys down for a minute I was thinking did I bring the right stuff and did I bring enough did I not bring enough I don't know figure I'd try it you know but yeah so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna be camping um, might be hitting Pismo Beach Sunday might just go out for a day and cruise around and I've, I've never been to Pismo I'm gonna start trying to YouTube all the what is it the adventures I go on especially when I'm using this camper tent I want to start uh, kind of like I know everyone online on Instagram and um, TikTok are telling me they wouldn't even drive so far with a Range Rover but you know what if I listen to everybody telling me don't go don't do this don't go camping I'd stay at home and be fat and lazy I guess I wouldn't do anything so I'd rather get out and do something you know that's why I always say explore where you live I'm exploring and I'm trying something new this is totally what is it called where you uh what's it called when you you go and do something that you normally wouldn't do like it's like the strength thing where you you try it you just go out and try it try some have you ever went out by yourself go try it it's actually relaxing i didn't think uh like i said today was i was nervous actually coming to go camping by myself but it's actually nice like it's relaxing i'm not gonna lie it's relaxing well guys, guys it's pouring rain it's raining so hard right now let me show you guys see if i could uh if we could see anything outside i don't think you can i don't think the water is coming in this so i could probably Ooh. open this oh wait where's the other one look at the rain's not coming in right here the the angle that we're at but look how foggy it is outside look at that pretty cool <laughs> i like it look at this Oh, it's starting to come in. Oh, I don't want to get wet in here, but it's raining pretty good. Pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't get wet in here. <laughs> but I have it dark in here, so... Guys... It's raining super hard. It's uh, 741 and it's raining. Let, listen. It's pouring rain. I have that light on. Pouring rain. It keeps making me think, is the Range Rover going to slide down the hill on the mud? I mean, I did put rocks underneath the tires, but I don't think it'll slide, but I'm kind of in these holes. I think we're fine, but maybe if it stops raining, I'll go outside and double check. I sure don't want to slide down this hill. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Anyways, I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of freaky. It's uh, it's super dark outside right now. I'm ready to go to sleep, but this rain. And then I keep thinking, is it gonna thunder? I mean, I picked the worst night 
to go camping, but I'm not gonna lie, it's still exciting. I'm a, it's pretty fun. And it, this is holding up pretty good so far. I don't see no water anywhere. But I can give you an idea what it looks like outside. Let me see. It's dark. You can't even see. It's dark outside. Super dark outside. I wonder if I could take my flashlight. Let me switch. Uh, All right, let's turn on my light and see. This is a powerful light I have. Oh, look at it. It's dark outside. Let me uh, let me unzipper this thing right here. Okay, I like it. Might be able to see better. Oh dang, look at that. That's like it's bright. Look at See the rain? It's raining. Puddles. Look at That's kind of cool. Look at <laughs> Isn't that cool? Pretty neat. Anyways, let me zipper this back up. It's getting too, too wet. Well, I wanted to camp. There we go. Well, I think I'm going to hit the sack, turn off this light, and probably fall asleep to this movie. So anyways, you know what, I'll show you guys in the morning what it looks like. Hopefully I survive. Um, hopefully nothing happens tonight. I don't think it will, but we'll see. I got all my protection. Got a knife. Got my whistle. My whistle. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Hopefully the view. Hopefully the view is amazing tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's just beautiful out. I can open these windows. Put the put the little awning like thing out. And just enjoy this view. So anyways. See you guys in the morning. Peace. Good morning, guys. Well, that was a rough night. I don't know if you could see me or not, but look at this wind. This wind is just crazy. I parked up here for the view. Yeah, I parked up here for the view and it's just gonna be too cloudy to see anything. It's raining right now. The wind is blowing hard. Look at that. I listened to that all night long. All night long. It's hard. But, so this gave me the idea of what I need. So definitely, look at this. I need a thicker pad for sure. This pad is just way too thin. Um, probably need to buy that gas buddy. The gas buddy I heard is good for indoor use. So that's good. Um, and plus it's probably vented. But I, I shouldn't need too much. I need the... Uh, a new mattress, probably a, probably a um, sleeping bag that's, you know, that's up to uh, like, I don't know, depending on how cold I'm going to be like sleeping wise, but I probably want to get a pretty decent sleeping bag um, other than blankets. And then next time I need to bring a jacket with um, 
sweatpants because by the time I get up and it's going to be interesting pulling this tent down you know because uh it's cold outside all I am I'm just in shorts and a shirt <sighs> and shoes let's see what it looks like outside now oh my gosh look at that it's foggy can you see it let me uh take the screen down too so you can see a little bit better it's really not that cold outside oh i'm not gonna lie it's not cold it's just wet <laughs> but look at the trees If I had some thick blankets, I could actually open these windows so I could see out. Um, yeah, not too bad. I mean, I feel like laying here for a little bit longer. <sighs> Once this rain stops, I'll get up. Hear it? Now it's raining. So maybe once this rain stops, I think around eight o'clock it's supposed to stop. According to the weather, when I looked at it yesterday, I have no cell service, so. All right guys, it's windy. I'm gonna try to set you up somewhere so you can see me close this tent. Hopefully the camera doesn't blow. Well, let me set you up right there. Hopefully you can see me. Too bad. Not too bad. Now I just gotta put the strap in here. Check this out guys, this is where I had to come through. It looks like a jungle. <laughs> it's pretty neat though. Yeah. Foggy, it's foggy.
pretty interesting though. Alright guys, so solo camping. What did I think about it? That was uh, quite an adventure. It was only for one night. Let me turn down this heater because it, it did get cold. What is it? 59 degrees. Not super cold, but I needed more blankets. I just had a thin blanket. So anyways, yeah, 59 degrees. My first time camping uh, by myself. Strange. Normally back in the day I would never go by myself, but it, it was actually pretty fun. Oh, yeah, there's people camping right there. Way better here because there's no wind, but I wanted the view. So anyways, uh, yeah, my first time camping, it was uh, pretty interesting. I, I, I like it. I just... Uh, I just wish the weather was a lot better. But for the first time, look at this. This guy has a rooftop tent also. But for the first time, that was very cool fun. It, like I said, that's my new adventures. I wanna go camping. I, I wanna actually go to Painted Canyons. Sorry, it's so dark in here. Painted Canyons, and then um, what's the next spot I want to go? Um, Joshua Tree. I'd like to go camping in Joshua Tree. That'd be kind of fun. But Painted Canyons for sure. But not when it's too hot. So now I'm uh, headed back down the hill. That way I could go home, shower, eat and then uh, enjoy this uh, Labor Day weekend. But, yeah, I don't think I was missing too much. I don't, like, cooking-wise, if I was gonna be out there for a couple days, yeah, I'd probably wanna bring like a, you know, those stow, what are those things, those propane, I don't even know what they're called, those two burner stove tops. It'd be cool to have something like that. But for one night, yeah, I could just drive back down the hill and get some food. <laughs> or just bring some with me. I did have that top ramen. I didn't even eat it. I ate before I came up here. And, yeah, I just wasn't hungry. So, the rest of the day, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might find somewhere else to camp tonight. I'm not sure. Tomorrow, I'm going to Pismo. I'll be at Pismo Beach. I'll try to film that. Well, I probably will film that. Um, going with a couple friends so we'll see but let me keep driving and showing you this there's this tree it must have fallen and someone cut it look at that in the road these logs are these trees look at these tree they must have fallen over and look at that huge Huge trees. Oh no, I just thought that was pretty cool. Well guys, that was my one night camping trip. First, first camping trip solo. Anyways, I would say again another night, but tomorrow I'm going to Pismo Beach. I'm gonna drive on the, uh, gonna drive on the, the beach itself and then probably go to the sand dunes probably just uh relax have a good day there and see what happens see what how many people are there i'm sure it's gonna be super packed it's a four hour drive so i gotta go home make sure everything's good with my rover and pretty much just relax until tomorrow so anyways thanks for watching and you know what if you guys are new to my channel like I say, get out there, adventure, look around where you live. I'm sure there's things you haven't seen. Even though you've lived there so many years or whatever. But, 
there's always something new. I'm finding new things all the time, but I get out all the time. So anyways, I'm back on the road. And until my next adventure, we'll see you guys on my next trip. Peace.